in here. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Serra da Estrela. And um, we're back here. It's almost been a month, a few weeks since we were up north in Chaves. So we checked out that bridge. Start off the day with a nice Roman bridge and also popped by the castle on a beautiful day. And I was expecting to be in Galicia already, so I figured, you know what, I'm up here, I need to sort some things, I need to make a video. It was 150 kilometers down back to the family house, so that's what I did. And so not a few, <laughs> few weeks passed, but it also gave me a chance to put a new tire on the, on the rear. So look who's found our way, uh, his way back here. The old Mr. Heidi who was fired when we were in the Algarve. Because you know, I thought I was ordering a 50-50 tire. Turns out uh, I got myself a nice racing slick. So I was like, you know, since what we've been doing, it's been so nice on this one. I, I, I can't, you know, revert back to something lesser. So look who's found our way here. A nice Bridgestone Battle Axe. 140 wide again because you know I like that sort of thing. It's nice off-road. Uh, it's more of a scooper compared to uh, the E09. So we're going to chuck this on because uh, we want that Reliance off-road. Well, after a few weeks now, we're going to enter uh, October. So um, it's cooling down. Winter is coming. And we're inside of the Estrela, the biggest, the tallest mountains in Portugal. And I've been spotting, you know, little dotted lines on the map because at one point I want to get in there because it's going to be the grand goodbye. Adeus Portugal with a little bit of Serra da Estrela off-road. Now we head out into Spain. Got to keep an eye out on them. So I'm going to do it there. And uh, we're going to chase the Romans a little bit more, you know, since all Romans uh, lead to roads, you know. Just flip that around, will you? All roads lead to Rome. Let's go. So that route was uh, a dead end, that one. So I have to go up to my original spot for the dotted line, but boys, What's that? You see that? What are we doing here? Oh, we gotta go back down. Because there's a better way to go up. I saw a truck coming over there. I'm gonna wait and let him uh, have it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit of experience, folks. All right. It's nice to not have panniers anymore. Where's my little dirt road? Oh, this is usually pretty promising. Like I said, new rear meat. gonna let some tire pressure out because I want to show you something it's beautiful Bridgestone the battle axe you know what's different from the Mitas E09 is that the Mitas didn't have this edge so I reckon it drops more will drop more in the rut that's my hypothesis Let's see if it's right and there's less blocks on it so I think it it might slide more but we'll find out already missing speed for this unfortunately no biggie I've 
completely entered this wrong. There we go. Wow. Extreme bouncy front end. <laughs> and all of this before lunch. Get prickles. Stupid. I don't like riding in the ruts, but <laughs> that's why we should get out of them. See, I actually had glad this happened. This is something about what I thought would happen with the battle axe easier. Now it's not a given that you usually get out of these ruts like this. But like I said, this is a hard edge. For me, it's like a drop off point. The E09 had like this pear shaped bottom that would snugly hit that, you know? See, on the right hand side, we have the track and a little creek. This looks more accessible. <laughs> you see that? We were over there. Can you guess why I came? I wanted to come up here. By the way, this is not the Tet. No, no. This is uh, the Pedro Mata Selection. Here on. Off road all day, every day. Definitely have to get a feel on the looser stuff for the battle axe with the weight on there. Always is. Always is. It's a different beast. It's less, it's already less grippier than the than the E09. Yeah, here's the thing folks. I was so close to Serra de Strela. I was like, you know, I can go back up north. But I can't leave Portugal without giving you a proper Serra de Estrela off-road. This is Portugal's highest mountains. We've been here before, but mostly on tarmac. It's been raining uh, the last month again, so uh, winter time is coming, like I said. did with the with the EO9 previously because I really got to get a feel how it drops into places look this is interesting oh see that's what I don't want to happen there losing my footing Oh, I should have done some stretching beforehand. 
<laughs> said the old man. Dumbass. Not in the groove yet. <laughs> Jesus. Rocky. Atlas, you're heavy. Oh, shit. That's a first. That was typical in Mongolia, losing the water bottle. See if we can find it. Yeah, that's uh, gone. Uh, I got two anyway. Just in case, this time I started out with three of them, even if it's cooler. It still got pretty hot. <sighs> what a morning. Straight to work. Rock steps, ruts, climbs, little corners. Very little uh, control. This should be a proper drop down now. So much for easing into it today. Look at this. Serra da Estrela. This is wild, man. Is that a tick? walking on the camera hello buddy are you a tick no <laughs> yeah go away buddy you're not my buddy definitely not my pal jesus all right load it up on another bottle of water let's not try to lose this one i remember when i got to mongolia first thing i did lose two water bottles because it was uh all of a sudden very off-roady and bouncy terrain too you know these are the worst this too on that gnarly ass overgrown track but I actually lifted a decent tree out of the way oh, dumbass. oh what am I doing this morning oh. this bro this before lunch time <sighs> my stomach is bad folks So what do you do to me? Shit, I'm lacking a throttle almost. Fucking hell, mate. Yeah, I can throttle.
hear it. That's my tank bag that turned the bike back on. Nice teamwork tank bag for once. This fucking sand in there. Ah. Ah. What's going on, man? I straight up don't have the confidence yet with the rear. And that's always good with sections like this coming, eh? you can go to war with. This is still good, but it's not the same. The EO9 was softer, more blocks, more edge grid. at 13 I'm in 1250 meters 1250 that also might have to do it's a little bit with the performance I'm noticing exactly where I thought I would be scraping That's what I expect. What are we doing? What are we doing here today, folks? That almost flipped me backwards. Take everything off. Not even at the starting point where I wanted to start today, officially. I just saw this road up the mountain. So it goes. You were right there, Atlas. Not very stable here. <laughs> Smells like rubber. No surprise there, right? Eh? <laughs> ah. <sighs> that 
was coming. <sighs> Lovely cramp here. Nice. Nice start of the day, bro. <sighs> You're almost there. I'm lacking sand. This is good. This is nice. How's it going, Atlas? Yeah, it's nice, eh? Ah, oh, liking this too. What are we doing? I know, right? Jeez. Battle axe? It's me too, I'm not used to you, but uh... It's not like I was doing this to the EO9 all the time, to be fair. Blockbusters. They're pretty great. See, this is why I left the bag on? So it wouldn't be a flat drop. The consideration I make between moving weight and also some practicality in case we drop her. on the tent that is like this the tent they should make a deviation for it well I could do it in the future but the tent really needs to come through Serra de Estrela in Portugal just look at this That must have been an old this uh forest management services. Not that old. Anyone here? Nice place to camp. Wouldn't be the first one. Station, old weather station. 
maybe uh, something for airplanes. Ex-military. Olha só para isto, gente. Let's hug the side of the mountain. Look at that, folks. Don't you just love that? Open mountain sided hairpins. You know, it's never too late for lovely off-road tracks to go by. They are logging. Look at that. Here. Oh, look at this. 
what do we do? We have a little crossing bridge there. Let's have a look. Ain't this neat, the old route? That's the beauty of the motorcycle. We can go there. Look, the cross is a bit tilted. Little shrine. But we'll take the old school route. seen these since chili the green chilies there the achis this is different still but I reckon this is a proper green pepper with a light version it has that spice in it very light with a nice freshness and of course black olives if you don't like olives don't come to Portugal nor Spain mm. <laughs> Muito obrigado. Uma boa pita para completar. Posso por aqui? Não, à vontade. Encho. Guendilha. Guendilhas. Guendilhas. São guendilhas. E é um tipo de pimento, não é? Sim. É. Muito bom. É de um well needed meaty sustenance. Não é long day. Hum. Got some pork here too now. We also got some goat on here. Cabrito. Very juicy. Thank you very much. 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 Thank
I make this nice mix here of olive oil and uh, garlic. Some nice, again, spicy mix in olive oil. And then the Netherlands were used to mayonnaise on our potatoes and fries in Portugal. We do a lot more olive oil on there. I mix with a little bit of spice. Mmm. Who needs mayonnaise? I'm so small, man. I can barely reach the table. All right. Um, in Spain, there's this Roman thing I want to go see. There's like this arch and this road. There it is, location. Maybe it, it opens and closes. If that's the case, I'm going to be screwed for today, man. So I was going to do some tet. Still the last little, little bit of goodbye tet. Just a little nibble of the tet today runs by the border nearby here but um, I think I'm gonna have to skip it all right let's go do this for Rome eh? we are chock full stuffed with good food to the brim holy sins the senor and we are ready headed to Spain that little uh, that little lunchkin was 12 euros altogether what a lie Work, work, work. See another person. Hard at work today. We've done some hard work today too, man. Oh, let's try not to fall asleep. What do you got? Wouldn't want to hit the hay right now, eh? <laughs> oh, zany hour comes early today. This is it. Portuguese Spanish border once again. What's up, horses? I got about 48 of you in here. Well, we might as well, right? Uh oh, uh oh. That's why we have this nice foot now. Right, let's go back to Portugal. I can't wait. <laughs> so, what was the last thing you did in Portugal, bro? Well, I had to pet the horses, of course. O Cavalinho. Yeah, now you know I'm a friend. Hey? You want to be a friend, too? Just don't go nibbling on me. See? Ciao, Kovalich. Well, to an end comes a period that turned out to be a lot longer than I predicted, but <laughs> no surprise really after so many years of absence and a complete change of the whole world. And it all just came together in these last months. And I just, I'm back for a while. Até a próxima. Ciao, Malta. Buenos dias, que tal, uh, amigos? Bienvenidos a la España. I'm pretty knackered. Horsey, or very big donkey. Tardes. Very big donkey. Very nice region here, right off the bat in Spain. The hill mountains, lots of wild forest. We're on our way to Capara. At least that's what the old Roman place is called. Let's see what kind of history we can find there. Okay, I'm hitting reserve now. We'll be fueling up cheaper now in Spain though. Ahora vamos para presos españoles, no más lo portugués. Está carísimo en Portugal. ¿A cuánto está? Now, Roman Bridge should be around the corner here. I'm not going to stop right now because, uh, is this it? Might be, but I'm not going to stop right now. We're almost there, and I don't know if it closes. Eight. No, come on, don't mess with me, don't do this to me.
Invierno. Until seven. Shit. Wait. Shit. Wait. Shit, it's October. We're one hour too. We're ten. We're just ten minutes too late. God. <laughs> Damn you, mountains. No. <laughs> Let us in. I want to see my Roman arches, damn it. Or is this just a city? Uh, maybe in there it's like closed off stuff. I want to see the public stuff. There is hope. There's the arch. Make haste for Rome. Ladies and gentlemen, fantastic. When it started, is yes, this is glorious. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rome. At least what used to be. Looks like the man is recording something. I know that life, so I'll just have let him have that. Beautiful. Do you see the Roman road? Yes! Oh man, ups and downs, man, all day long. It's a tough, tough job, this, man. Just look at him filming himself. Looks so stupid when people do that. So this is a continuous road, right? It's the Via de la Plata that starts down south in Sevilla and goes up all the way to Santiago de la Compostilla. And this uh, road here had this, uh, what do you call this? This column build, like something in the first century. And it's the only one, a four-sided one like this, on the Iberian Peninsula. And it still survives. How dope is that? Wow. I love this. So, unbeknownst to us before, me and Atlas, we came blasting down a Roman road, the Via de la Plata, the Silver Road, this column, and definitely didn't look that part up. It's called a te Tetrapilum. I said that perfect, uh, perfectly. I don't have to repeat myself. And like I said, it's the only one in Iberia like this. And the cool thing is, this used to be part of the Lusitani province during Roman times. And you know what Lusitani means by now after our voyages through Portugal. That means that this is Portuguese. This technically belongs to my ancestors. So this is this is rightful Portuguese property here in Spain. <laughs> in Spain. <laughs> right. Now for once we're at a Roman structure and we don't have to worry about is this still the original material. Does this work? <laughs> oh, so close yet so far? Oh, do you want stitches? Pedro? Yes? Do you have to be silly? No. Okay, let's not be silly then. See, this was meant for people to see. Welcome to Rome. <laughs> you know, this is something that I talked about. Uh, I replied to people in the comments about the sheer history in Europe. You don't even know how old some of the roads have been that, that I've ridden on that weren't confirmed with signage or whatever. Roman roads, you know. Some of the roads that I've been on could have been, you know, Celtic roads, even pre-Celtic ones. So, if it's Roman, it's 2,000 years old, or more. If it's pre-Roman, then it's thousands of years old. And, you know, you don't always know what the history is exactly, but it's always cool to have that in the back uh, of your head. And that was, that's what makes uh, traveling, riding around Europe so special. You got that added history. So that road, Rute de la Plata, Via de la Plata, uh, 
It's already used before the Roman times. If that's correct. Uh, ready by the Carthaginians because before that, uh, the Iberian Peninsula was pretty much their colony or certain areas of it. Carthage, it's in North Africa, Tunisia, I think. Sat till the Romans took care of it. Sprinkled a little salt on there. But yeah, what we're talking about, you know, this, this road connection, thousands of years old. What did the Greeks like? What did the Romans like? I think we have something here that might have something to do with that. Bath houses. This is where the water runs underneath. The big ass stones. Those are the canals of the bath house. Nice. What's cool to see with this, like these are roadside structures, but at a, at a place like this, you can see how big the buildings were during those days already. You know, 2,000 years ago. Multi-story buildings. That's, it's crazy. Oh, look, here's a cheat sheet. They just used to chill. This, these were houses. That's a bloody water feature, mate. 2,000 years ago. Water features. These were the houses here. Must say, Extremadura. Muy hermoso. Bloody glorious. Let's go down to Roman Road again. But is that it then? No, of course not, because Atlas ain't nothing for nothing. The unofficial Roman Bridge Inspector. And here in Capara, we also have the Roman Bridge. Can we get closer? All right, Atlas, I'll, I'll go. I'll go do an inspection myself. It's the last daylight. What's going on here? That's why we have motorcycle pants. The Roman Bridge of Capara. Hello. Much better if you can still see something besides the thousands of mozzies. This is more of a heavy duty Roman bridge from back in the day. You normally see a bigger one like this in the, in the cities, like we saw in Chaves, and then ones on the road, smaller ones. But this here was uh, one of the main arteries, like I said, that connected the southern part of Iberia with the northern part. Those Romans didn't mess about when trying to get places. Whoa! And on that note, I bid you all farewell. That is until the next time. It's been a long, hectic day. That is the start of it. And I'm gonna find a place to stay tonight. A goodbye for me and the mean machine slash freelance Roman architecture inspector. Take it easy out there. Ciao. Hey Alp, you want a drink? Let's go to the cafe. <laughs> Andale. All good in Spain. Motorcycles can go to the cafe. <laughs> <laughs>